Hi, Grandma. Hi, good to see you, your boy. I would like to do a documentary, and I wanted to do one on our family, and I thought that it would be really awesome to do one on you because I had watched... Um, the, this, the class I'm taking is an East Asian cinema class, and so uh, we've been watching a lot of these Uh, this is me and my mother, my father, and then Japanese nanny when I was in Japan. Oh, you lived in Japan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And from one year to three years, I come back mm -hmm. to Taiwan. You know? And here's your photo album. This is in the uh, university, oh, Taiwan university. university. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the day when you heard about the 228 incident or when you began to hear about the riots? Uh, that is when I was uh, 12 years old. Uh -huh. And my daddy got to join some meeting. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, my, my, my father don't come two, two or three days. Then we know something happened, but we don't know. Mm -hmm. I go look. Look at my father, he was that uh, gun shot, gun shot mm -hmm. on the body, uh, and then some blood stain. I just watch it. No, I just run away. I don't want to watch it. I, I can't even imagine. I mean, if you imagine she was 12 years old, her father died, and you know, was actually killed. And then she, at 24, she comes to a whole new country. Uh, gets married, has kids, doesn't, you know, it's, it's a lot of changes. I'm just amazed that she just is just so um, upbeat. I, I don't think much about the past. Mm -hmm. I thought that I moved here and then we struggle and then develop our life here mm -hmm. and stay in Taiwan. Yeah. Ah, I never go to think that way. Yeah. I, I, because I already choose here, I mm -hmm. got to do, do something here. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I, I don't have a second self. I yeah. don't want to have to go do think uh, ah, if I another way or something. Mm -hmm. I say I just have one way do here. I should be do good in this way. My root is here now. Yeah. When I was in high school, we were like the only Chinese family, and there was a Japanese family, and I think there was like a Jewish family. It's almost like if you're like a duck and you grow up with chickens or something, you think you're a chicken. So everyone was Caucasian, and I didn't think of myself. I thought of myself as more like Caucasian than I would see myself in the, you know. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah that was that was around christmas time like a few years ago i think dad just wanted us to visit because it'd been a while because because we kind of pretty much our entire life we've spent christmases with mom's side I feel like, to an unusual extent, we as a family don't really consider our family history or heritage or family ties very much. I also feel like myself, I have not put in like effort or significant effort to try and reclaim that history. And there's also the fact that I grew up in an area where I was mostly exposed to just that white culture. It feels like I'm more whitewashed than the average Asian. 